his drops are specific and specific um, to uh, wanting to turn um, quick, short routes where he stops his feet uh, into bigger plays. When he's moving his feet, um, he's pretty good. His concentration, he looks the ball into his hands, so they're specific, and we took down his drops, um, and, and they're specific to him getting his eyes away from his catch. And so we can really take Wolf Full and say, look, here's what you're doing in these specific instances. And uh, he dropped the hitch route, he dropped the quick screen uh, into the boundary, and it was simply just pulling his eyes away from the catch, so we can work on those things. Yeah, I, I think in a, in, a, in a different sense, we have really uh, begun this process in January, uh, and we've talked about um, we don't rise to the level of our competition, we sink to the level of our preparation. And that's really where we are. Um, and our players know it. It's been on the back of our shirts in summer conditioning because we knew what this schedule looked like. <laughs> we know what it looks like. And each and every week, it's a challenge for us. And you can't rise to the tech challenge. It, you have to rely on your preparation. And that will be the case this week. Uh, it'll be about what we do and our preparation that will determine what happens on Saturday. Because we know Purdue and what they're going to do. They're, they're going to play their very best. Circuit training on that every single day. Circuit train, tackle every single day. Um, it's... It's what we do in every single practice, and we teach it, and there's not a day that when we're, we've got our pads on that we're not circuit training the tackling uh, procedures. Um, it's fundamental. Um, it's been ingrained since I've got here. Uh, we've been a good tackling team. I think we're a better tackling team. He loves football. He loves the X's and O's of it, and Matt is of the same cloth. I mean, those guys are... You know, if they could just watch football film all day and just close the door, that's what they would do. So uh, they've been able to build a strong bond that way. Um, and, and so uh, their communication when it comes to, you know, technique and uh, rhythm and drops and all the things that are central to uh, great quarterback play, um, they're able to share that on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, as you know, Tony is... Uh, you know, somebody that has been here uh, prior to me getting the job and, uh, you know, just, uh, just a great, great staff member, great personality, um, easy to get along with, it's got a great family, um, they're always around here and, and having the offer as part of the Notre Dame uh, coaching staff and family is, uh, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just great to have them with us as a coach. Uh, he's a great mentor to his, um, his players, and, and not just his running backs, but, but all players on the team. Um, as a recruiter, he's, he's hardworking. Um, he, he builds great relationships and connections with players uh, throughout the country, high school players. He has a great way about him that uh, he's able to communicate effectively with, uh, with the kids that we're recruiting. So um, I, think, I think in that sense, he's... Uh, you know, he's invaluable to what we do here at Notre Dame.